The Parkland Foundation decided to create the Community First Awards really for two reasons. We wanted to honor some of the most impressive new leaders in Dallas who are serving the community, and we also wanted to introduce those very impressive people to Parkland and Parkland Hospital and everything that it does for the community. They recognize that there needs to be a, a primary focus on preventative health. Parkland continues to touch people outside of just the hospital setting, but even in the community setting. It finds ways to make sure that people have access to uh, solutions that allow them to live healthy lives. I was surprised to learn how forward thinking Parkland was. The amount of time and effort that they spend on innovation, the fact that they're looking at data and predictive analytics, um, so that people can think about how they can prevent going to the hospital. Um, that was really wonderful to, to learn. I think the event I enjoyed the most was learning about the number of community centers that Parkland has across our community. They work with individuals or family members to help coordinate care, to be able to provide that preventative care spectrum to help individuals learn about nutrition, coordinate transportation, coordinate the various social services or doctors that may need to be involved to help get ahead of what could be some major health issues. I was most surprised about Parkland uh, because before this I had never been to the new hospital so I didn't know about some of the advancements they had made and some of the um, kind of the long-term preparations they've made to uh, be able to scale up or, you know, increase their capacity. Personally, I made some really great friends and uh, some new networking uh, colleagues and professional colleagues that, you know, I can now reach out to. And my favorite program was when the Parkland officers came to talk to us about how the hospital responded on 7-7-2017 when um, the Dallas officers who had been shot were brought um, to, to Parkland for care. And not only um, hearing about their personal experiences and how they were impacted, but just how the hospital responded and came together to help support you know, this community that was hurting. And learning about the Level 1 Trauma Center and how um, crucial it is to helping um, handle situations like that was just really um, memorable and impactful. I think getting a, a tour of the Trauma Center was certainly the, the most eye-opening um, and best reminder of just how amazing the work is that, that people do. Trauma nurse in that space explaining what happens when a patient rolls in there and just the level of care and, and the, the breadth of services that are there and hearing some of the questions that uh, some of my peers had is really eye-opening to understand just how focused people are on some of these problems and uh, just the depth of insights that some of my classmates had raising questions that I hadn't even thought about before. It was amazing to me to learn um, what Parkland was doing in the community um, Parkland is a big building and you see Parkland from the highway and you understand Parkland as being the community hospital and being the county hospital, but you don't understand what Parkland is actually doing. When I say you don't understand, there's not a lot of publicity about what Parkland's doing in the community. This really was um, beneficial for me um, and a way for me to go tell a story about Parkland that a lot of people might not know. I was surprised to learn that Parkland has its own police department. I guess within that, also sort of surprised to learn just what a big operation Parkland is. You think of Parkland as as an institution that's designed to serve just sort of like a subset of our community, but it's it, but it's more than that. Hands down, uh, the trauma center tour and the first respondent presentation in itself uh, really provide the realness for me of what Parkland is for our organization. Uh, it is something that without them uh, and without their role, um, you know, Dallas would not exist. Again, it's amazing to think that they see on average over one million annually uh, patients every year is just astonishing. That's what walks through their doors every year. And to be able to do that uh, with what they have is just amazing. And so for me, that's the biggest impact. There are many awards in Dallas. There are many awards across the nation, across the state. We feel that people should be nominated and hopefully become honorees of Community First because it is an award that we hope will honor unsung heroes, much like this hospital. 
Parkland has been around for so long, for many generations. And we want to really honor and recognize that next generation of leaders who are doing things in their community. And so that's really what we feel like is the true essence and the importance of this award and what makes it different.